This is one of the funniest OVA I had the opportunity to rewatch recently. Burn Up W starts as a straight up comedy with a ton of LOL moments. Released in 1996, this four episode OVA serves as a prequel to Burn Up Excess, a 13 episode series released between 1997 and 1998. The Tokyo Police Department has a special squadron of agents called Team Warriors that are deployed on high-risk missions. The whole four episodes are divided in three different stories. The show starts introducing a group of loony terrorists that call themselves the Falcon Claw and kidnap a building in which an international event is being held. Here is also where we are introduced to our first villain. Our group of heroines are deployed to save the day, which brings a ton of hilarious moments. On the second episode, a virtual idol wants to experience the human world and escapes the cyberspace on an android body. Our team is deployed to investigate the case and bring back the beloved celebrity to her natural space. Her fans just cannot bear with her absence. Now, this episode has one of the most obvious and hilarious Evangelion references I ever seen, and you know by now, if you have watched my content, I am a sucker for Evangelion content. The third and fourth episodes are more different than the previous two, and it's where the story really becomes interesting. The police is investigating a device that makes people act uh, weird. The story is kind of good, so I'm just going to leave it there for you guys. Rio is the main character and the one that has more screen time. The blonde bombshell is highly charismatic and beloved by her co-workers. She uses her physical appeal to earn positions that she wants and also defeat enemies in battle. She's easygoing and reckless, not to mention irresponsible and underpaid. However, her personality is put to the test on the last two episodes in which we start learning more about her showing one of the most surprising character development that I have ever seen in both time and tone. We don't have the same character development for the rest of the team, nor the supporting cast, nor our villains. During this OVA, they are all there to serve Rio's development, in my opinion. Which is not bad considering that there is only four episodes. The team chemistry works and does not feel uh, either rush or posh. It feels natural somehow. Uh, once you understand the purpose of it. As I said before, the show can be divided into parts. The first two episodes are dumb and funny, but nothing out of the ordinary. And it only serves to introduce Rio and her team. Episode 3 and 4, however, are surprisingly good. It's where we see most of the action and character development. However, it felt a little rushed at the end. An extra episode wouldn't have hurt uh, the show, in my opinion. There is a ton of fan service, but it uses it to drive the story. Some other shows of the time take uh, advantage of this kind of feature to only bring attention uh, from mature audiences. The show also makes use of it for that, don't get me wrong, but also to drive the story, which makes it different from other presentation. Even though most of the story and tone is childish and funny, this is not for kids. There is a ton of mature content, and also there's a ton of mature themes, so be aware of that. Animation looks great. The show is fluid and everything looks bright and beautiful, which adds to real personality and the world surrounding her. However, the score is flat and generic, so it doesn't add anything to the show or the story. Burn Up W is a 6 out of 10. Funny story, good character design and animation, but just another above average story. To be frank, it's more a 5, but just the Evangelion reference in episode 2 earned an extra point on my rating. The show overall feels empty, but if you like babes with guns kind of content with lovable and funny characters, this is a show that you don't want to miss. It definitely feels like a prequel to a major story, so bear that in mind before taking a look at it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all very soon.